Welcome back. This is Sons of Three Kingdom back with part 20 of our Tata Let's Play. It has been a bit of a break. I've been very busy with work and uh, some other things. So apologies for, you know, the delay. Um, so where we left off, we were in the midst of our war against the Kingdom of Shuhan. And uh, it's been a mixed war. We've tactically done very well. We've won every battle um, that we've come across. And... Uh, you know, won a lot of great victories. However, the problem is that we A, lost Taupi, our heir, so that's not very ideal at all. Um, and B, uh, we've actually not managed to really gain any cities. We've just been fighting defensively. And meanwhile, our co-belligerents have actually managed to gain a lot of cities because the Kingdom of Shuhan is weak from their repeated conflicts with us. So, uh, you know, this episode is really time for us to make good. It's time for us to not only win on the battlefield, but just really just at least take a few settlements. Um, because right now we're doing all the heavy lifting of this war and really reaping none of the benefits, unfortunately. And losing Talpi is a big blow. Uh, I mean, that's a very high authority heir. We have got another heir to replace him now, but just not as good as Talpi. And plus Talpi was historically the heir um, and didn't die, so... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. That was a. Uh, I was tough to swallow, but he died gloriously. He died fighting two full stacks, and you know, managing to managing to cr like pull a victory out of that pretty desperate battle. So it was a good end for the sun. Now, obviously, I would have liked to make Cao Ang my uh, Cao Cao's first son, who did die in history quite early, also quite heroically into the air, but that guy just doesn't have a lot of authority, um, which is going to be quite important for, you know, faction leader or whatever. So we're just going to have to stick with Cao Jin, who is uh, not a historical character. Uh, this battle is going to be great uh, for the reason that, well, for the reason that we have kind of the dream team here. We have Lu Bu and Zhang Liao. Now, Zhang Liao, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but... The thing about Zhang Liao is that historically he was actually a really exceptional vanguard general. And the kind of decision to make him into a sentinel here, I don't know if I agree with it. Um, you know, this guy carried out some of the most amazing victories in the Three Kingdoms. Specifically, the Battle of the White Wolf Mountain and the Battle of Hefei. He carried out both of those... Um, Actually, what am I doing? Yeah. He carried out both of those victories uh, by basically pulling off just some, you know, very beautiful cavalry, cavalry charges. Um, and he was also... I He wasn't... You know... His personality was, I guess, somewhat suited to being a sentinel. He was known as very cautious and skilled. But um, he was also incredibly valorous when he needed to be. So, yeah. Uh, now let's see. Let's see here. They have no cavalry on this side, which means that cavalry is probably all hidden in that for forest. So what we're gonna do is move our swords to this side and move our spears to this side. Um... Put our better cavalry on this side to face off against the enemy cavalry and our relatively weaker cavalry, the militias, etc. <clears throat> on this side just to affect some uh, just to affect some better charges. Let's go. Uh, they do have these Yi archers. That's really their only good units. Um, the crossbowmen are also pretty good.
Where is that cavalry? Come on. There we go. Seriously, brah, gonna. Gonna deal against Lu Bu. Not very clever. Alright. Cool. Switch targets. Shut down these crossbows. Round two. Can you do it, Lubu? I believe in you. Fantastic. No, oh, actually, you're not going to be able to catch those guys. Uh, you're not going to be able to catch any of these. Being destroyed. These guys are about to catch up. Go get them. Alright, that's basically it.
So I believe this is the something like the fifth or sixth general that Lu Bu's defeated for us. I do want to get as much use of, out of him as possible. Uh, he costs a lot of money, and you never know when he's going to betray you. Also, he's getting quite old now, so I assume at some point he's going to die of old age. And these cavalry did work. The archers did work as well. I mean, the archers did really good, actually. Yeah, compared to their archers. Just a word of warning, I haven't, because it's been so long since I did the last one of these, uh, I haven't opened up the strategic map for a while, so I actually don't really know what things look like. Um, I did take a brief look before this, uh, so I'll be able to, you know, hopefully I won't bore you guys too long with just clicking around the map and trying to figure out what things, where things stand. Victory was never in doubt. Oh, that's a cool looking thing. Um, yeah, everybody hates this guy. Nobody likes him, so I'm guessing he's going to be executed. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll release him. Like, uh, let's not... I don't know how much we want Liu Bei to hate us. I, I assume he already hates us a lot, but whatever. You know, Cao Cao, historically, he could be merciful when he wanted. He only killed when there was, like, a, something seriously gained to be... Oh, sorry, let me correct myself. Uh, as far as, um... I'm guessing you're not going to be able to reach him. Yeah, as far as kind of, like, noble people when he only killed when he could uh, kind of help it. When he couldn't help it, sorry. Uh, okay, so that's still going on. We'll take that in the next turn. This army is too small for us to bother with. Cultivate patience. Gather your strength toward glory. Now these two armies Ready yourselves. we're going to march up to attack this cluster of ter territory and hopefully hopefully get some things there. Uh, Lu Bu, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, is that Lady Bian? No, that's Shi Jinning. That you're fine. Uh, Guan Yu, you've just started, but what I want you to do is, yeah, because we're now at war with Zheng Jiang. So, what I want you to do is go up and hold these places. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, public order is still a problem. Now here, we have two armies here. Is that it? Yeah, we got four on that front. Uh, yeah, we got four on this front. We got Guanyu up here, and then we got two more down here. And there's another enemy army coming here, so we can't just... Uh, can't let this front go, unfortunately. I will rid China of warlords. On the march. Right. Nothing really we can do here. Now, in terms of regions... I can't remember who we lost the trade deal from, but we did lose a trade deal from somebody, so I'm just trying to get somebody else to go for it. Excellent. Uh, 
What if I offered you... Like, how much does one food get us? Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I just accidentally clicked some other app and it switched windows. Uh, one food is 1.7. Okay, that's not bad. And then... Now, gonna give you one food, and then we're gonna make some payments. Done. Your proposal is sound. And that should be the last trade deal we have. Yeah, that is. Okay. Makes our income a bit better. Now, we have Nanyang, who is still tax exempt. We're going to leave that tax exempt for one more turn. Uh, let's build some buildings. Yeah. Man, I don't know why this region... Isn't down. Uh, Luoyang. Luoyang's already upgrading. Guangling. Nanyang. Hmm. Yeah, this would work. Pengcheng. Actually, you know what? Forget that. I want to get some prestige. Yeah, let's do this for now. I want to get some prestige, even though nobody else is really in, at risk of grabbing the uh, the third emperor spot. I do want to get us there pretty soon, and and we will be. Not a huge worry there. Yeah, there comes their next army. Don't gotta worry about these tiny ones. Yeah, see? And that's why we sent Guan Yu up there. Because those two armies looked kinda, kinda scary. With respect. We offer you this food. Nah, I don't... I don't accept shit from you. I mean, they're so much weaker than us. Um... What? Who who died? Oh, this is mm. Damn, this is one of our old timers. Uh I can't tell if this is Dong Zhao or 
Yeah, well, we want another. Yeah, I'd, uh, yeah. Let's 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 get another um, strategist in there. Fang Lei. Yeah, it's Dong Zhao. He's died of old age. Uh he was a loyal one. He was a real loyal one. This is this is kind of sad. Mm. Well, that does leave open a governor who I believe that Wu Zhi would make a pretty good governor. Do we have anybody more deserving than him? Like high rank, somebody who has been with us for a long time. Yeah, let's it's Wu Zhi. Okay. Oh, uh, actually wait, no, 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 no. Um I didn't even see what bonus he had. Uh, minus 13 plus 40 percent income from commerce silk and spice so we're looking for uh, something with um we're looking for a province that has quite a uh, commandery that has quite um heavy commerce 300 270 oh this could be good yeah this could be good once we actually Once we actually get rid of the tax exemption, I'm gonna I'm gonna make them exempt for one more turn just to gain. Well, if I don't, what's the uh, minus seven? That's quite bad. Yeah, how much income do we get? Oh, three thousand. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna ex make them exempt for one more turn. They're not really. I don't think they're really threatened by anything. Not really. I mean, these guys if they go to war with us, but whatever. Uh, by the way, there's a, there's a. I feel like there's a lot of um. Rebels around there. All right. Can we get somebody to assignment and maybe just public order get it a bit better? Oh, unfortunately not. Might be time to destroy one of these buildings and get it a, as a public order. Don't know which one though. Plus. See, I don't actually think this is necessary. I'm gonna demolish this. And actually, I'm gonna remove the tax exemption straight away. Go defend this city. Yeah, they can't reach us next turn. That's fine. Um. Vent frustration. Standard stance. Ready yourselves. Outwards and on. Remain resolute. Move as one. Seize opportunities when they arrive. To conquest. are coming to pass we must lay foundations if we are to rebuild how may I serve my lord
Yeah, I'm fine with all these buildings. I shouldn't have given away this fishing port. I mean, there was not much I could do, but still. Wish I had that now. Let's build one of these. Mm. Yeah, let's go with that one. Alright, so Guinery is up here. That front is taken care of. Now it's down to this front. Get rid of that army. Ooh, almost lost the unit. Okay, I'd say, yeah, I'd say that's it for the turn. Hello. Um, yeah, I'm going to flee for them for now. Adventure and glory awaits. Uh, no, not right now. Want to focus on Liu Bei. Yeah, this Gongtai guy, who's um, obviously a rebel faction, he's got a lot of armies, so kind of worried about that. Oh, the hello. The Han is ended. The will of heaven is shifting. I think, ladies and gents, we might be an emperor. Of a sword. The Emperor's old champions now stoke their own imperial ambitions. The old ways scatter like leaves before the coming storm. Their time is over. Change is carried on the wind. Uh, I'll rise to... Oh, the Kingdom of Song. Wait, what? Are we not the Emperor? I mean, did we not become a king? That would suck so much. Our rise to power will not be welcomed by all. Kingdom of Song will surely look upon our ri rising fortunes as a great front. We must now walk separate paths. They may one day cross again, but unfortunately we will be adversaries. Yet there are those we can call friends. Surely they will wish to join us still. We do not walk from this path alone. So we have to split from the coalition. What is... Kingdom of Song is... Yuan Tan's... Did they get there before? If they got there before us, we are such losers. Kingdom of Shuhan, yeah... Oh my god, we're... Oh! Okay... Uh, we're king... I feel like what's happened is that w us and Yuan Tan became king on the same term, but... Maybe they're alphabetically before- No, I've declared myself emperor. I'm very confused these right now. I have no idea what's happening. Okay... Oh, the Kingdom of Song has, the Kingdom of Song has um split a uh, unseated the Kingdom of Wu from uh, that makes sense. Yeah, and they just seize the city. Okay. 
and we've been kicked out of the coalition because yeah that sucks Wang Shuang is a historical character not not a big one but quite a competent champion all right cool noble birth noble birth we've were emperor somebody else's emperor everybody's emperor sure whatever no longer emperor of the kingdom of Wu Duchy of Song is the yep 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 okay um yeah we're now technically trespassing because we don't have all right well first of all Forge an alliance with Han Tong. Yeah, okay, whatever. We thought you dead. No. Alright, trade ancillaries. See there's a lot of these kind of like trash ancillaries that we don't we just we don't really need that much. They all just kinda of do the same thing and I don't know. Alright, and then let's give them one food. Offer food. One Yeah, alright. It is agreed. Um, who wants a non-aggression pack with us? The Duchy of Wu. Yeah, I could use them as a friend. How can we aid each other? Yeah, that's fine. It is agreed. Your terms are fair. Yeah, essentially what we're doing is um we are Ooh ooh Tongyuri would confederate with us. That's fantastic. You have a proposal? Yeah, for sure. We are resourceful. This is not the end. I was thinking about sending an army to, um... I was thinking about sending an army to just destroy with her, but... If we can confederate, that's all the better. And we finally have the entire Yangzhou province. Uh, that took a long time. And this is the new army we gained. Um, I don't think we need them... For... Yeah, this is, this is a pretty trash My army. Lord, I answer your request. To war. Mm -hmm. All 
can actually demolish this building. We don't really need this building. We could capture these two cities as well. Without too much problems. Yeah. Serve integrity. What we'll do is trap and destroy this army first, and then we'll move on to capture these two cities. Um, let's see, let's see. What's that? What's that commandery that we? Yeah, Nanyang. That's right. Uh, let's get a Confucian temple here. Guan Yu, where is the nearest enemy? Oh, I see. Um. Wow, the nearest enemy has just kind of gone. Guan Yu just. You know what? It's fine. You can sit up here and guard it, I guess. Towards peace, fetch my copy of the Zutra. Okay, what else, what else, what else? What else are we doing? You can sit pretty there. Who is that Han Tong character? Somebody... Our council wants us to... Fortune allies with Han Tong. I don't even know who that is. Han Tong. Han Tong. It's not even a. That's not even a person. What the fuck are you talking about, Cao Wang? Oh, I see. Kingdom of Song actually got kicked out of the coalition, not us. We still got our coalition. And they hate us. Why do these guys hate us? Huang Anbo. Oh, this is Huang Zhu's old faction. Yeah, why, why do they hate us again? Strategic threat, treaties with our enemies, sign peace with our enemies, release generals of our enemies, other... Yeah, whatever. I mean... Mm. Well met, friend. Oh wow, everybody really hates that idea. Never mind. Get this over with. Nope, everybody really hates that idea. Okay. I think we're done for diplomacy. Now courts. What are we gonna do here? Oh, wait, I forgot to forgot to check the effect again. Um, plus five, all sources. So let's make her governor of Xiangyang. Now, I'm betting that there's a bunch of new characters that's gonna kinda hate us. Wu Shuo. 51, that's okay. Zhang. Whoa, Zhang Zhou joined us. I don't even remember when that happened. 40, yeah, whatever. Yang Fu, 29, but he's a spy. We can't really do that much. Zhu Lin, 53, 58. All three of these are fine. Tong Rui, 55. Yeah, she better be. We just made her. Alright.
it's time to promote one person to prime minister and I believe that prime minister is yep you need somebody of high authority to be prime minister so it's one of these two really 139 126 uh, Xu Jinling is technically a bit better but I think we'll make it Lady Bian she is our wife after all or maybe we will make a Xu Jinling um, yeah fuck it let's just make a Xu Jinling alright does she have any oh no she has a few negatives she has no negatives hmm yeah, okay, sure. Let's go. Chancellor. Oh, that's right. It, does, it actually doesn't matter who... Um... Yeah. And then we're going to have one more governor. We can make a Zhang Zhao, we can make a Cai Yan. Yeah, Zhang Zhao's old. Um, sorry, I know this can't be the most interesting to watch, but there is obviously a lot of changes. Uh, yeah, we need somewhere with high commerce. 500 commerce, 287, oh yeah, that's a good one. Eight thirty commerce. One point one K commerce. Okay, Zhang Zhao is the administrator of Jian Jianye, which works pretty well. Um Jianye is a uh, where Zhang Zhao is from. I mean the southeast was where Zhang Zhao is from. All right, what are we looking at here? Plus 15 from industry. Actually, yeah, let's unlock another unit. J Dragons. Pearl Dragons, Light Glaive Infantry, ooh. But where do I need to? We're so far away from that. Yeah, alright. Let's start climbing up that and Saber Infantry. Yeah, that's not bad either. We don't have Saber Infantry? That's kind of crazy, actually. Okay. That is all the internal shenanigans. Chaff must be promptly exiled. Now, let us deal with this front. You come I up, must refuse. come Hold up here. Tao Tao, lead the attack, please. March. All right. Tao Tao, chase you. after her. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with this. Just yeah, do it. it could end no other way.
deal with them. China's plight demands merciless action. As one, Ben, do not break. Yes, good. Everybody's getting along well. That's fine. I'm gonna make Taoang get a bit more authority, I think, just because, I don't know, backup air. That's really it. Losing Toppy really made me think, you know, you don't really want, you don't really want a situation where, um... Where there's no good air. So, Cao Jin is our air. Cao Bao Jie. Oh, that's a good air as well. She's... Well, she's 18 now, but, you know, that's a good backup. Who else do we have? We have... Yeah, one of the, I mean these are all too young. As I said, we need we basically need a, need a commander to be here. Um, what I will do for you is uh. Hmm. Is there anybody in the faction you can marry? I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, no. Even though... What's her face? Yeah. <laughs> Zhu Yanmeng, who's your brother's wife, I mean, he's dead. The Han Dynasty China was pretty okay with marrying widows. Wasn't... You know, didn't have that particular type of patriarchy. Um... Yeah... 4,000, Jesus. Eh, well, we have 13k, we can... Arrange marriage. Yes, please. Ma Ting Ting. Uh, welcome to the family. Oh, you're so much older. That's uh, all right. 35. You can have, can have kids. Um, yeah, that's fine. Alright, what are we, we got a bunch of armies trespassing here, now let's see, I believe Lu Bu's already, oh yeah, no, Lu Bu hasn't made his move yet. Now let's see if we can work out with the Kingdom of Song. Oh, they hate us. This will be short. Mm, I don't know if we can do much here. All I want is military access, but ah, uh, minus eighty one, Jesus. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to be at war with them quite soon, actually. If we're on the Yellow River, I believe that's not... Yeah, Towards just get to the Yellow River, exactly. Crossing. No, my soldiers need rest. How many settlements do they have? Donghai. Oh, uh, Donglai. So there's probably another settlement down here. So there's four. Yeah, we probably will need. Let's just send all three armies up there to be su to be sure. So we got three armies sailing up, sailing up there. Mm. 
I kind of don't want you to make trouble, so I'm just going to chase after you a bit. Nothing too dire for public order. And... The problem with investing too much into Dian Ye is that I am afraid I'm going to lose it. I mean, it's so cut off. If somebody march, if Sun Sun march marches on it, there's basically nothing we can do. Um, Dian Ye is all the way down here, very far away from our closest armies. Oh, uh, I guess if we keep Xu Jinning around here, it's okay. Yeah, all right. Let's let's do some upgrades. What should we do? This looks pretty good. Hedong. Nothing we can really do here. Donghai, nothing we can really do here. Let's make an upgrade in Yangzhou. Food production or income? Probably income at this point. Actually, uh, yeah, 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 that, 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 that's fine, yeah. Ugh, stop running around. These goddamn Han armies. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to be at war with the Yuan family quite soon. Oh. Um. Wait, what? What are the three territories they want? They want. Yangzhou Toolmaker, they want Guangling Trade Board, and they want Guangling Farmland. So basically they want these three. That's... That's not really... Neg except, um, yeah, that's not really... Acceptable to us. Guarantee autonomy is fine, but what would they say if we gave them a different territory, if we gave them Tian Ye? Yeah? I really quite like that idea. And then, what if we were to take from them the fishing port of Donghai. 9.8. I can make this work. Yeah, I can definitely make this work. I want I don't want to give up Zhu Yangmeng yet. She is the widow of our dear son, after all. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 9.8. He has enough food. He's probably not going to want food. One of our followers. Give him one of this. Give him this. 
Yeah, okay. I think I'm happy with this. Let's do this. A rewarding meeting. Ah, I see. I don't know what this does. Yeah, okay. Oh wow, so many people are... Is that why he became our vassal? Because he was losing on all the fronts. Okay. Still though, that's a, that's a mighty powerful vassal that we just got. Now obviously we have to make sure that we always stay more powerful than him. We don't want to... He's got a history of betraying us. He's got a history of betraying us. He's got a history of betraying Liu Bei. So, um... He's an op opportunist. Uh, op opportunist, sorry. Yeah, it's not somebody we really want to mess with. But whilst he is our vassal, that could be a great help. Mm-hmm. How about yeah? Yeah, she's of age. Good job, daughter. You heard of a rumor of a great man named Sima Yi? Uh, yeah, because Sima Yi is one of the most famous generals in the Three Kingdoms. Did he come? I don't know if he actually came. Hooray, we got Donghai. Finally, this goddamn fishing pool that we gave up ages ago. We lost Tianye, which means that you are now the, like, like you're literally the administrator of nothing, uh, as far as I can tell. Um... But I think if I remove you from office, yeah, and then I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna bring you back. Don't worry. Where, 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 where is he? Where is he? There you go. Yeah. And then I'm going to make you the administrator of Donghai. See, happy? Yeah, we're all better. Um, okay, uh, this is coming up to an hour now, so let's just call it this for now. Um, we have a very powerful, oh my god, our vassal is so powerful. He's giving us probably 2k a turn or something like that. Uh, yeah, th I mean, this is, this looks good to us. We're about to wipe Liu Bei off from his last territories. We gained a powerful new vassal. Um, yeah, everything's good. Uh, I assume next we're going to go to war with the Kingdom of Song. Uh, that looks pretty manageable after what we had to deal with with Liu Bei. Uh, okay, so this is Sons of Three Kingdom. Uh, this was part 20 of our Tata Let's Play, and I'll sign off here. See you later.